So this is video number five and it's January the 3rd of 2016. Well, actually, you might gather by the, the outfit that I'm still wearing the same one because it's actually 2nd January 2016. But having done the last video, I'm kind of feeling flow. So what I've realised, and this is what happens when you are working, learning and living at your best, you can make decisions, you can change things. And so I feel like the most productive way to use my time today will be to, to do three or four videos now, which will carry forward until I run out of information to share with you. And then I can put it up um, each day for the next 10 days. Um, and it was because as I started talking on the previous video, I started to get, I kind of got into the, the rhythm, which is my rhythm and started to remember the order that I want to tell things to you in, rather than just waiting for daily inspiration. So yet I just want to recap again. So on video number one, we talked about that your life is your story uh, and it's you're the author. So if you don't like what happened yesterday, the good thing is you're writing the chapter today and it's about you making a conscious decision to get real clear about what you want, to have clarity of what you want and then about developing the resources and the support systems around you so that you have confidence to make that happen. Video number two was that often when we can't find clarity of what we want, we might find the answers in the advice that we give other people. So it's about trusting yourself. So listening to the advice you give other people and taking your own advice. Video number three was about planning and that the reason why some people don't do planning uh, is because their time frames and we looked at what you needed to be able to plan at your best. Video number four was why planning doesn't work, uh, part one. And I'm going to be talking to you today about why planning doesn't work, part two. So part one was really about our plans don't often include every aspect that's important to us as human beings. So we need our work to work well, we need to be able to live and we have to be learning and growing as human beings. So having all three. So the previous video will tell you a bit more about that. And what I found is when people really understood what they wanted to work, learn and live at their best, then the that might give them either a very detailed picture of um, what a typical week would look like. It might be what their big life would look like, depending on how they process time. And so the models that really helped people to move their planning, but more importantly, actually make things happen and to create change in their life and to be able to handle the change that happens to them, was when they started to understand how they made decisions, how they processed time and how they could then use all of that knowledge to plan in a way that works for them. So depending on how you make decisions, um, for me, I found that my decisions were very much based on is everybody in my life OK? So I'd be checking you know, the impact I had on my children, the impact I had on my staff or my team, the impact I had on my clients. So sometimes some of the really good business decisions I didn't make because I was worried about how that would upset the people that mattered to me because I'm very people orientated. My husband is a really caring, loving person, and it's not that he's not people orientated, but he was much better, and he still is within our partnership, much better looking at the black and white. Can we afford it? How are we gonna afford it? And many of his decisions were purely based on the, the, the number factor. Did we have enough money to make, to buy that, to have that? And maybe didn't always um, look at the impact it had on different people. So we've worked together really well because I can do the people side, he does the money side, and between us we make some really good decisions. And when we looked at our decision making models, what we discovered is that his was quite simple, black and white, and it was. A, and I, was, I remember looking at it thinking, God, wish I could make decisions like that. And by sharing with him my model of how I made decisions, he was able to also um, think, oh, well I need to also consider the impact it has on other people. So um, it updated his model and, and updated mine. So really understanding how you make decisions can help you understand why or how that plan has to work in order for it to be effective with the way that your brain thinks. But it also could help you discover the people that you need in your life. People who make decisions um, perhaps are really good with money in their business and they make really good financials. Rather than thinking, oh, they're all about the money and they don't care about the people, you could start asking, get curious, you know, start learning how do they make those decisions and start blending their decision making process with yours in order to get uh, a decision making process that's more balanced. Likewise, if you're very um, number orientated and everything's about can you afford it or not, talk to people who are very good at nurturing people, who are motivated and inspire, who, who work around people, find out how they do it and then you can start to improve and update your decision making model. So depending on how you make decisions, 
um, it will impact your decision making process going forward. So the first thing is update your decision making. Then time. What people often don't uh, realise when they're communicating with each other is that if I asked you the question, what would you like to have happen? If I asked 100 people that question, each person would answer it very differently. And when you look at the language they're using around time and you ask them what kind of um, soon is that and what kind of later is that, anything to do with time, you ask them sooner, later, earlier, the, the, the meanings and physical time frame that means varies so it's it well it's, it's it always um, fascinates me how different we all are so if you ever have that moment with a client where you say we need to meet at two and they don't come till five past or they get there at quarter two or or you're trying to get out the door with your kids or your husband you'll know you know logically that we all think differently and the, and the words we use about we need to leave at this time means that other people don't actually leave exactly at the same time. We all have a different way of processing time and, and referring to it, which then impacts our decisions. So getting curious about how you do time and how the people who really matter, particularly your, your loved ones, I strongly recommend that, but also your team, your staff, being curious about watching what your clients interpret as being on time or late or whatever. And I would say let go of this, or oh, if they turn up late, they don't respect time. I would say, you know, reframe it that it's they do time differently to you. So when you get to understand your time model, you understand your decision model, then you can create a plan based on the fact that you know what you want to work, learn and live. You know how you make decisions and you know how to process time. Then you will be able to create a plan that will work for you. And often people are doing the planning first and then finding it doesn't work and then giving up. And then they don't they don't aspire to actually make their dreams come true and to create the change they want. So I hope that's of use for you today. I want you to start being really curious about time and decision making. Um, some of the questions you might ask yourself um, is that, you know, how do you make a decision? What's the first thing you do? Then what happens? And what happens in between those two things? And they're the, the main questions. Or what happens just before? So what is happening? Then what happens? What happens in between X and Y? And what happens just before? They're, they're what we call sequencing questions. So start sort of unpicking it and getting really curious about that. And um, in the next video, I'm going to talk to you about the importance of doing that detail unpicking. Otherwise, plans often don't come to fruition. And I'm going to do that video today. And I'm going to release that in um, a few days' time. Speak to you soon.